Now I want to talk a little bit about the hurricane cone. Here's the track on Hurricane Lee. I heard some stuff yesterday online, people saying, well, this cone's getting bigger because of the uncertainty in the turn. And that's not true. This, this is actually a calculated circle here. So let me explain how they do that. The National Hurricane Center forecasts where they think the center of the storm will be. They go out, well, 12 hours, 24, 36, 48, uh, and they keep going out. And once they get to three days, they just go three days, four days, five days. The only thing that they are forecasting is that point, that point, that point, and that point, and that point. They're not forecasting any of these lines. They just say, hey, look, we think, and we're going to use day three, 72 hours. We think the center of the hurricane will be right there, and this is not for Lee. The, Lee is actually going to be further to the north and east of this track, but that's where they think it is. So let's use that, right? Then, once they get that forecast point, they add these circles to it. Now, these circles are calculated circles. Uh, again, let's take day three. So they think the center is going to be there. They go back over the last five years and they say, how far off were we for all of our forecasts on day three? Every storm that they forecast, they did all these forecasts for. They said, you know, on average, we were however many miles off they were. They take two thirds of that number and they come up with this radius, 103 miles. That's from this point to there. So now, they said they think it's going to be here, but they know over the last five years they've been wrong, but not by much. So they could be 103 miles this way or 103 miles this way. So they draw a circle that big. Now, the Hurricane Center actually gets better and better, usually, at forecasting where it's going to be. Intensity forecasts are a little bit harder. But now when they go back and they look at the last five years, 2018 to 2022, they find out they did a little bit better. So now that radius is 99, it's not 103. So that radius shrinks, that circle shrinks. Now when you overlay that on top of where it would be, instead of using the old circle, this year we use the inner circle, that makes the cone just a little bit thinner there, right? That's how all of these, pot, these spots are made. It has nothing to do with, with the turn or, or really the uncertainty in the forecast. Now, the problem is, and let me show you this, the timing. So, day three, day four, day five. What if day five was down here, right? That's what you're seeing with Hurricane Lee. Because remember, it's going pretty quickly here, but it's going to slow down and then turn and go to the north. So day four is now closer to day five. And as a result, instead of having a cone like that, the cone comes down and you get this bulge on the back side. It's not about the uncertainty of the, of the turn. It's about where they think the center will be and that error that they use going back over the last five years. And so that's what that bulge is right there. Now, eventually, as this makes the turn, it's going to speed up and you're going to see it look narrow because the distance from one point to the next is going to be longer and they just connect the circles just like connecting the dots. So I hope that helps. I know that's a, a lot to explain and to soak in but that's why when we show this cone on TV we're literally showing you a statistical model and it has nothing to do with the weather. It has everything to do with where they think the center may be. You're going to get weather inside. Look, there's weather outside of this cone right here, right? Weather to the south as well too. Maybe not here but this is just about purely where the location of the center of the storm will be. So don't ever look at a cone and say, hey, we're out of the cone, we're okay. If that cone's close to you, you could have weather right in your backyard.